Oftentimes we run into scenarios where we have extremely long lays between our water source and our fire seat. This is typically a scenario where a single engine doesn't have enough hose to make it from the water source to the fire seat. The typical solution would be to employ some sort of relay pumping operation and have multiple pumpers in the supply line to boost the pressure throughout the entire length of the line. While that is a great option, some fire departments may not be able to put the necessary number of pumpers into a relay operation from the beginning of the deployment. There's the octopus. Tentacle One tentacle at a time. Good stuff. <laughs> so here's another alternative way that we can use our four-way oasis valve to overcome a supply problem when we are dealing with long distances and in this configuration we're using this valve as an inline relay valve if you are looking to minimize friction in your relay system without interrupting the flow of water to your fire scene, utilizing the Oasis valve in this configuration is the solution to that problem. What it allows me to do is it allows me to get the relay operation in service and get water flowing initially. If and when available pumpers become available to your scene, you can have them tie in to the Oasis valve and boost the pressure going to the fire scene. This essentially cuts down on the distance between each pumper and therefore allows a higher volume of water to get to the fire scene where it's needed. As you can see in our video, the first engine lays up towards the fire, dropping the uh, oasis valve at a, uh, a starting point, usually an intersection or somewhere close to where we are going to begin our forward lay to the fire scene. The second arriving pumper is going to reverse out from the four-way valve, and they're gonna connect their supply line to the hydrant portion of the four-way valve, the part of the valve that uh, is labeled hydrant. They then reverse out to the water source, essentially performing the split leg. At this point, the supply engine can establish their water source, whether it be from a hydrant or from a draft, and they're gonna pressurize the supply line. Water is gonna enter the four-way valve from the hydrant connection going straight through to the fire scene or to fire scene port. In this scenario here, essentially the supply pumper that is all the way down at our water source is connected to the hydrant inlet of the valve. And essentially all we have done is moved that hydrant inlet all the way up to where the four-way valve is. So water in this scenario is flowing straight through the four-way valve as it would be if it were connected directly to the steamer port in the beginning phases of a traditional four-way hydrant valve operation. Essentially what we are doing in this scenario is performing a split lay, which means half of the apparatus are performing a forward lay towards the fire, and the other half in the layout are performing a reverse out to the, uh, to the water source. Just like a traditional four-way hydrant valve operation unfolds, this setup, this initial connection to the fire scene, connection from the water source, may be all that is required if the fire flow demands are not uh, too terribly big or the length is not too terribly long. However, if the fire flow increases and, we ha and friction becomes a problem in our supply lay, we can have a later arriving pumper, in this case the third due engine, position towards the oasis valve and make the connections to essentially tie into the relay operation without interrupting the flow of water to the fire scene. What this is going to ultimately do 
is it is going to reduce the total distance between each relay engine in the relay and ultimately allow a higher volume of water to be delivered to the fire scene.